Okay, today we're doing hurricane showings. We have Tropical Storm Nicole on the way. It's rainy, it's windy, but let's get to it. Okay, I am here at 7076 Spring Park Drive. And uh, we can see it's a three car garage, nice large driveway, palm trees looking great. Here are their neighbors, nice homes all around. The front door, you've got an eight foot tall front door here, which is very nice. Pretty wood floors. Beautiful as you walk in, excellent first impression. Everything looks in excellent condition. Laminate wood floors, tall baseboards. So here's the front door. As you walk in, you have this first hallway to your right with a large office here. And you've got a closet and its own bathroom. So this is its own suite, essentially. Pretty shower. Very nice tile floor. Great detail here in the shower. Brush nickel hardware, PVC frame windows, and double pane windows for better energy efficiency. See, as you walk in, you have this flex space off to the right. They have it set up as a dining room. They've got additional recessed LED lights here. It's very pretty. As you continue on, you have these stairs that lead up with real hardwood floors and tile risers. It's very pretty upstairs with the wrought iron banisters, tall ceilings, about an 18 foot ceiling, very grand. This living room looks beautiful. Gorgeous kitchen. Espresso cabinets, stainless steel appliances. Pretty backsplash. Built-in oven, microwave, convection oven. An additional refrigerator here in the butler pantry. This leads into the dining room. And here you have a pantry. And it does have its own light, which is motion sensing, by the way. Beautiful kitchen. Everything is squeaky clean. Stainless steel hood here, pretty backsplash, glass top range. The speakers built and mounted to the wall. Here we have the kitchen. Kitchen table, dinette area, breakfast nook, Pretty chandeliers, nice shades and window treatments on all the windows. These are PVC frame windows, double pane. Great for energy efficiency. You can see the backyard, which is a dry retention pond. So lots of privacy back there. In the distance, you can see a lake. And from the kitchen table, you can see the back yard. A 
You have triple sliders here that are very tall. And they have a lock on the slider up high, which is great for small kids so they won't just wander out. And these three tall sliders, by the way, they slide and hide away here behind the wall. So if you wanted to open this up, you can, and the windows would, the sliders would disappear. And then you have a French door going into a restroom there and a large covered area. The backyard is fenced in. And there you get a better idea of the vast dry retention pond and privacy that you can enjoy here. I just noticed they have roll down shades up here that can be rolled down using that handle. are pretty light fixtures. Okay, so we have more to see downstairs. As we go through here, we have a bathroom. This is a half bathroom with a little doggy door there. You have a linen closet, eight foot door. A, a very nice drop zone here. So when you come in from the garage, backpacks, shoes, everything like that can be put away nicely. Here's a freezer. This is another closet under the stairs. And this is a large closet here, which is fantastic. They have it as an additional pantry space. This goes out to the garage. And this garage has three garage doors, but one is hidden by the storage area. But they have a lot of storage area here the bench area, a side access to access the side yard. The garage is large and organized here. You can see the garage door opener. It's an oversized three car garage. Lots of storage in this house, endless storage. Okay, and then through this room here, you have another office space, which looks out to the backyard. Beautiful, very nice. Double doors. So we've seen everything there is to see downstairs. Now we will go up. Very wide staircase. Second floor has carpet. So here we are upstairs and there's a staircase leading down and bedrooms across the bridge. As you come into the master, you have the sitting area here, which is nice. It's very elegant up here and the 
master bathroom. Has a garden tub here in the center. Two separate vanities. A large shower. Large closet here. Linen closet with eight foot doors. The shower is very pretty. And here's a second closet. Pretty floors. Got a vanity here. And the tub. Water closet. And once you pass the sitting area in the master, again, lots of uh, window treatments all around. Beautiful window treatments. Very pretty and elegant, luxurious decor. Pretty light fixtures, chandeliers. And here we can see the dry retention pond, the master bedroom. And we will go across the bridge. Carpet floors, there's an outlet. And as we arrive to the other wing up here, we have a bedroom. Very cool. And this bedroom is very spacious. It's about 13 by 13. You have a vanity here with tall countertops. Closet, which is great. Then here we have a full shower and tub. And another vanity with lights. Another closet here. This is a music lover's home. All of the bedrooms are very large and have lots of windows. Again, this Jack and Jill bathroom, very nicely appointed. And we're heading down, by the way, here's the pretty look Here is the AC closet, great for storage. It's a, essentially a storage room. This is the laundry room and it's very spacious, as you can see. Very large. And here is the entryway and the front door.
Glad I didn't drop my phone. There is a bedroom here. Again, very nice size. With a spacious closet. And a full bathroom with shower. Very pretty and nicely appointed shower and tile. An accent tile as well. Pretty countertops. Here, linen closet. This goes downstairs. And we'll go across. There is more to see. There we are. We've seen it all. And we can go down. I sold this identical floor plan in another community about a year ago. So I was familiar with it as I walked through. It's a very nice home, great layout. I just remembered on my website, the home that I sold like this one, the, the pictures from that listing when I had it are the main photos that you see on my website when you visit it. Well, okay, that's it for today. You can call me if you have any questions. Thanks.